David after a slightly poor performance to say the least I think 2-1 <laughs> defeat what, what do you make of that I mean it's hard to put into words what do I personally make of that today it was pretty dire um, I thought even like I say uh, within the four, 40th second of the game the ball's gone through the middle which I think everybody could see after the end of the game where the problems lied uh, he decided to play a different system a day playing five defenders with Whitaker playing just in front of the four and you could basically see that is just not right. I mean, Whitaker was being shouted at most of the game by Bradley Johnson on where he needed to be. And it, it just looked embarrassing, actually, to be a professional footballer. I felt sorry for Whitaker um, because he was put in a position that he didn't have a clue with. I mean, um, he'd not have a clue about a lot of things, but he certainly didn't <laughs> have a clue about how to play that role. I mean, he's, he's poor enough at right back, isn't he? But yeah. centre midfield, I mean, the opening 15 minutes. It wasn't as if we didn't have warnings that no. Brentford ripped us apart at times. Why didn't we just do something to combat that? Well, I went, I went to Brentford when we beat them 3-0 at their place earlier in the season. And in all fairness to them, they, they actually played very, very well, Brentford. They were bully boy tactics and they seemed to work. And again today, from the stall, you could see corners, they had three on the halfway line. I mean, they're telling you that if they win the ball on the break, we're in trouble. Um, why more teams don't do that? Because it's a very good clause, because all of a sudden Norwich were panicking. You could see Bradley Johnson and Quayer were shouting to everybody to, and we need somebody else back here. There was one corner in the first half where Olsen actually decided to push forward to, with, with the corner, which was a normal procedure, and there was three, there was three forwards sitting on the halfway line. Um, and they were actually shouting at Olsen to get back. Um, it's brilliant. Well, fair play to Brentford, they've done a job. They've done the job. I, oh, I actually clapped the goal, which is some usual that I never do. Um, I actually clapped Brentford's goal for the simple reason is Norwich deserved it. Yeah. And that's a horrible thing to say about your club, but they deserved that 1-0 to, to be behind because they just were clueless, mm. absolutely clueless. And after, not, after last week, the writing was on the wall, really, after the last seven, yeah. the, with the 70 minutes we played really well. Last 20 minutes we looked really iffy, like I said last week, but... Today, from the start, I mean, I don't know what his tactics were, but they certainly didn't work today. I mean, it would have been a travesty, I think, if we'd have got anything out of that game at all, because Brentford were absolutely It would have quality. been unjust on Brentford yeah, today. Yeah, the they, 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 did, they did really well, and all credit to them as well, and their supporters were fantastic. Um, I don't know where we go from here. I mean, obviously, we go down to Birmingham, but Christ, I mean, what on earth's going to happen down there? Because they score goals for fun. I mean, the tactics, I know Alex Neal has just come in, but no manager is ever exempt from criticism. I mean, what, why no, we he doesn't. He, he's, he, had his, uh, he had his first game, which was a good win. He obviously, we went away on his first game, which we won. Played yes last week at home, we won. OK, we, we should have won it more comfortably than we did. But today, I mean, oh, really, I mean, what was he thinking? Playing Whitaker at that centre, centre mid. I mean, that's not... That's not a bloke for a defender of being, is it? I mean, I mean, I don't like Wes Houlihan, but however, I would have had Wes starting from that lineup if he's got a problem. Obviously, I don't know. O'Neill's obviously got injured. Yeah, he got um, injured last week. Well, they didn't really say a lot in the press conference no. about O'Neill. He was, as far as we were concerned, he was playing today. Mm. You know, bringing on Elliot Bennett, who hasn't played this season for us. Oh, he did all right when he came on, but I mean, Christ, I mean, are we, are we that desperate in midfield at the moment? It seems like it. Crutching at stores to put Whitaker in there. I mean, mm. oh, come on, that's wrong. I mean, Brentford's attacking line, they completely ripped our central wax yeah. apart completely. Yeah. I mean, do you think Bassong perhaps could come in there? I mean, it can't do any worse oh, than what happened well, today. Well, uh, as far as I'm concerned with Bassong, Bassong's quite, I'd be quite happy to see him come back in the team. I've said this before, he's, it, it's, he, he's, had, his, he's had his bad news. Um, he, he obviously had a problem with the club. He's come back here as a new man. Uh, yeah, get him in there, get him in. I mean, Quayer and him are very similar players, so you could put Pasong in quite easily and and perhaps keep Turner there. But what on earth was going on with that penalty? I mean, was it a penalty? Wasn't it a penalty? I mean, both players went in for the ball at the same time. I mean, come on. I mean, one of them called for it. I mean, that's just ridiculous. I mean, that was at my end of the pitch. And both defenders were actually just sliding into each other. And it's just, what are you doing? I mean, with Ipswich losing in midweek, with Bournemouth losing in midweek, I mean, we've missed the golden chance, haven't we? We could have gone fourth today, although saying that Watford apparently did end up winning. They were 2 0 down, and I think they won 7 2. They won 7 2. So, yeah. you know, but we could, have gone, we could have gone fourth today. But, well, 
I, I can't see us even. I think we're just basically. I think we'll just sit in the playoffs and that'll be it. I can't see us pushing. I don't think we're good enough. I really don't. I don't think we're good enough. Do I don't think there's. I think there's players there that don't want to be at the club. Do you think we need to strengthen then in January? Where do you think we can bring in? How can you strengthen the team that we've got? That's I mean, technically point. on paper, we've got a really strong team. But if they're not playing with each other, then sometimes you just have to take a bye-bye. And I, I just don't know who to go. I mean, even Russell Martin didn't look totally rushed. I do believe that the the, 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 the foul that um, Bradley Johnson got booked for, I actually think that Turner's a lucky boy to be on the pitch because Turner was the one that made the foul and yet Bradley Johnson got the yellow card. Well, Turner had already been yellow carded, so technically Turner should have been sent off and I would like to know whether people have seen that or not because Turner was the actual one that should have been sent off.